Last winter was tough, and COVID made it tougher. With the holidays coming up and COVID still a problem, I've been spending a lot of time trying to come up with a way for our family to get together safely. Eating turkey and stuffing and cranberries and corn is socially acceptable in a group, but alone is just plain gluttony. I started reading up on how hospitals create a negative pressure room for patients that are immune compromised, and then I thought, why can't I make one of those in my own garage? I set about measuring and figuring and measuring some more and came up with a brilliant plan. We already have a large exhaust fan in the garage that I use for welding. If I move the intakes to the far side of the room and then open the window in my studio, the entire place will act as an air exchanger. And my brilliant plan shows I can get around 10 air changes per hour in my garage. A typical negative pressure room in a hospital gets about 15 air changes per hour. We can't be outside in Minnesota for the holidays, but we can try to make the inside as safe as possible. Brilliant plan aside, I am not an engineer or an HVAC contractor or even a doctor, so I'm not certain this project will make it much safer, but it's worth a try. So I gathered materials I needed and got to work, running and sealing up the ductwork. Most people know me because of my art, so you might not know that I have spent years working on old houses. While I'm sometimes proud of my work, some have disparaged my efforts as rigging. I have a general rule. Sheetrock screws and duct tape can fix any problem, and with this project, I've proven it once again. Well, this won't make the chances of catching COVID zero, it will at least make me and my family more comfortable eating together this holiday season. And that's what really counts.